patchouli. Ici. Just start bearing this year. Just just this summer. I've been training it from a baby. Hello, my name is Miguel and today I'm going to be pickling scotch bonnet pepper. So you're going to need a portion of scotch bonnet pepper, maybe about two dozens. And we're going to need an onion. We're going to slice it. A couple of garlics. Maybe four, five or six. Uh, a tablespoon of fermented seed in each jar. Chocha, sliced, and carrot. White vinegar. A jar. This look like around there. This is 14 ounces jar. 14 ounce jar. And the tools we're going to need is a sharp knife and a cutting board. And onions. We're going to try and get the ring, onion ring. So you got to peel it whole. In this case, it doesn't matter if you take off the first layer. Alright, put this aside. six of these Alright, just to note, we um, scotch bonnet pepper pickle, pickle to scotch bonnet pepper can be done in several ways. This, the one I'm doing now, is for storage. The people that might want to travel abroad and carry it with them and so forth. There's a second one that we use to sprinkle over escovish fish or fried fish. I'm going to explain as I go along how you do that one but I'm just doing pickled for traveling. And 
don't know, there are many ways people can pickle. But this is a Jamaican method. Alright, so rinse this off, make sure it's clean. Alright, let's get rid of this mess. Before you do that, take the stems off the scotch bonnet pepper. sure you put the good ones in. If you're keeping it at home, what you can do is just cut this off and just put it in the top. Say so use it first, which I'm going to do. But if you're traveling with it, just use them all. And make sure they're not burst. Sometimes when you buy in the market, you know, people test if they're burst. Because once a pepper is burst, the, the, the heat escape. So you got to make sure it's not burst. Like this almost bursting, but it's not. And it's better if you use all right because once you put the green in, it's gonna stay green. But it's okay, you can use some greens, but make them mostly ripe. off the pepper. Just make sure it's clean before you put it in. So rinse this off right over water. Just rinse them off. And just put these in a paper towel and let them just allow them to dry. slip you know you can get cut in fact I'm gonna do some of them right I'm cut the onion sauce uh, I'm not professional so I'm just doing a thing but we gonna make some direction some um, decorations with these say you just cut a little triangles Yeah. 
can be creative any way you want. If you have little things, you can punch little holes in there because I like to be different. I like to do things a little different. when I put two together and just cut it. Remember this, the last time I cut too close to here and I didn't like it, so don't cut too close to this because you don't want to spoil your decoration. If I had something could punch holes, holes, I would like I said, just be creative. I can just uh, this much a Caribbean is good at making little crafts and little palm trees and things out of, out of fruits and vegetables and stuff like that they are very 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 good at it I have no knowledge when it comes to stuff like that but you can use fruits and shape them in different designs and flowers and trees and animals and so forth so I'm just doing a basic thing so this is my idea I just want to get it like you know, be creative. I like this. I might just continue with the same trend and try not to damage it. The same trend. Just be neat. Torture now. Let's be good. Excuse me, I'm chewing cat. That's what I did with the small pieces. Ate it. it like this. I'm just gonna make two. Alright. The same thing. Make pattern. seed. I know some of you ask. Alright, so we'll get this.
Next, the onions. Let's cut the onions. Big onion, say about quarter inch thick. Separate them. You want the old ones, but if it's broken like this, a little you can still use it. This, this is what you want to get. All right, to, to do the escovish pickle pepper, you would slice it like this, but thinner, and you would use the carrot, but make strips, little fine strips, thin. If you use a grater and make strips, that would be good. Um, and chocha now, the chocha you do the same way, or it's optional to use chocha. That's with the escovish fish. And the garlic, you just dice it fine, like a little dice fine, and then put it in it. That's for the escovish. Alright. So, at the end of the day, you want to have this. This. That. Scotch and fermenter berries. So, fermenter berries, carrot, chocha, sliced onions, um, garlic, and scotch bunny pepper without the stem, old uh, and un unburst, meaning not burst. Alright, this is one that I use for cooking. I'm just going to cut this off, the top of this off. This is a spoil one. See, I use this for cooking. So I just put it in there and seal it. I'm gonna throw this away and seal it. Alright, just to say some things before I move on to the next step. Alright, these jars, if you can buy a new brand jar, that would be good. Because what you can do with a new brand jar is boil, boil the white vinegar allow it to warm and then pour it in this and then seal it the warmness will lock will kind of lock the cork but if you're using used ones like me just get a plastic like this and put it over it like this and we're going to seal it like this because number one this rusts after a while so you want to keep the rust out. That's why I use it mainly. And you know, to help seal it properly too. Alright, ready to assemble. So make sure your jar is clean and dry. And you take one like this. Or any way you want to fit it. And cho -cho. Some onion ring in. Let's cut you on it. Alright, so once you put a couple in, you can start decorating. So look for the small, you know, ones that can fit in. Try getting the nooks and the corners because I 
and save a few for the other one because I'm doing two. And garlic. Should have put in a garlic before. What do you do? And take out, take out a couple and show you garlic. Put that back. This purse is okay because it's gonna just go in the water. Alright, take the pimento berries out. Like a handful it does, you know, there's no set rules on how many you can use. So this is the idea. Alright, now the best part. You just pour it in. Just leave like an inch from the top. If you're gonna travel with it, make sure you get a bigger bag than this for, for sure. Real big, double it if you have to. Just do like that. And get a rubber band. What I will do is, uh, if I was traveling with this, tape around this too, as well. Just tape it, just hold it down like this, and start taping down from the top, and then seal, seal the bottom. So that's it.
all right before you go on the people them plane find out what is allowed for carry on although at, from my memory these pickled scotch bunny peppers okay but final so because things change so I don't know so that's it so that's pickled scotch bonnet pepper and just to conclude the escovish one now all you do is just find cut everything up fine and then put it in a bottle just like this and then it would be halfway you wouldn't fill it up as much unless you're gonna unless you're selling escovish fish and you're gonna be using it and when people when you serve it now you just sprinkle a little of the vinegar on top of the escovish fish and then put a couple of the onions on top with with the season that's why you gotta cut it up fine and do not use fermented berries that's for the escovish fish you can use it for flavoring but you're not gonna serve it this is where I like to store my right in the window pane kitchen window pane. It's the best place to keep it. Those two I just made. This is the one I use for cooking. And these two I just made. How long can these stay for until you lose until you use the last pepper? You can have it forever until it's because this is white vinegar and so vinegar can't spoil and once you go into vinegar it's gonna stop aging it's just gonna stop aging it's gonna, it's gonna stay the way it is forever until it's finished